Hello and welcome to the Isle of Man, where during TT Race Week there are five different solo classes. It can often get a little bit more confusing when each of the riders are changing manufacturers and changing the bikes. But there is, we've got Super Bike, Super Stock, Super Sport, Super Twins, also known as the Lightweight, and then the TT Zero, the electric bike races. We're going to have a look at the differences between each of those bikes. The Super Stock class is for 1,000cc motorcycles that are as close to the ones you can see in your local bike dealers, such as Michael Rutter's BMW S1000RR. What the teams can change are the exhaust, suspension and fairings. So many more of the components are actually identical to the ones you can find on the road bikes, such as brake calipers, for example. Now these guys will still give the super bikes a run for their money around the TT course. In fact, the lap record is only two and a half seconds off of the outright lap record. Ian Hutchinson went over 133 miles an hour in 2016. So the Super Sport class is predominantly for 600cc machinery. The lap record was set about four years ago by Michael Dunlop in 2013. It stands at 128.666 miles per hour. So these guys are not hanging about. Now unlock the Superbike class, the teams in the Super Sport class are a little bit more restricted on what they can change to the bikes. For example, they've got to run treaded tyres. The chassis is much closer to the stock bikes as well. What they can do are engine components like cams, cylinder head, exhausts, but they've got to run stock forks and they can change the internals on that, much like James Hillier's ZX6 behind us. The newest class at the Isle of Man is the TT Zero, so called because the bikes make zero emissions. The lap record is just a whisker under 120 miles per hour set by John McGuinness in 2015 on the Mugen. And it's Mugen who are pretty much leading the way in the development and research in this class. The power figures associated with the Mugen are astounding, making over 210 newton meters of torque. And of course, that's from zero RPM. The equivalent horsepower would be around 160 brake horsepower. The attention to detail on the Mugens is special. Make no bones about it. These things are the most expensive motorcycles in the paddock. So the Super Twin bikes are also known as the lightweight class and they still pack a punch despite being the smallest bikes on the grid. Back in 2015, it was James Hillier who set the lap record at 120.8 miles per hour. The bikes are essentially 650 road bikes, but the teams are given plenty of license to change many of the parts. They can change the swing arm, replace the pistons, add a quick shifter and a slipper clutch and make changes to the cylinder heads and the internals too. But because the teams have got so big a license to change many of the parts, it makes it one of the most expensive classes to prepare. So the bikes used in the Superbike class are the same as the ones used in the Blue Ribbon event at the end of the week as the Senior TT. The lap record was set in 2016 by Michael Dunlop and was the first lap recorded under 17 minutes and it was just under the 134 miles per hour barrier too. The Superbikes are pure racing thoroughbreds. The manufacturers will throw everything at these bikes. They are derived from the road going production based litre bikes. But you can change a lot of things including the swinging arm, the suspension forks and internals, gearbox, quick shifters in the top yoke. The Superbike and the senior races take place over six laps and that means the riders are wrestling these brutes around for pretty much two hours. It is hard work. So that concludes our roundup of all the classes here at the TT. All you've got to do is sit back, relax and enjoy the racing.